Hi, this video is going to train you in the various roles that you can play as a facilitator. And when I say you, it could be you and a team. This doesn't need to be only you. This can be a number of people and not every role you'll find is necessary every time you run the game or run the workshop. But the, all the roles that you play, of course, is in service of the goal of the workshop or the game, which is to cultivate learning, where learning is building the capacity to take effective action. Who do you need to be in order to help people build their capacity to take effective action? Well, the main one I want you to think about is that of a coach, like a professional coach, executive coach, or an exercise coach, someone who's setting you up the participant up to be at their best in delivering upon whatever they want to do in the world. In this case, be a leader and person taking action to address climate and equity. So as such, you're really just helping them get the most out of the experience they have in your game or your workshop or playing with the model. And really building on the, the insight from Bucky Fuller here. Don't teach people. Don't teach your participants. Give them a tool, give them an experience with En-ROADS that delivers insights that are really useful. And your job as the facilitator is to help them get the most out of that experience with the tool, with En-ROADS. So that's the main role, be their coach. The second though is the reality you're gonna to have to be a teacher. You're gonna to have to be the professor who explains things to some people who don't know that much about climate and energy and land and economics and climate related equity. You're just gonna have to talk about energy efficiency and greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and carbon dioxide removal and wind and solar. So there are things that you'll know, not everything, but you'll know enough to teach them some things along the way. But that's secondary to being a coach. The third thing is a playwright. You're gonna create an experience with highs and lows, with comedy, with tragedy. The main arc that you're gonna explore and create is that of the disappointment that many of the things that people think help a whole lot and might just save us, actually don't. That's disappointing. So that's part of this play that you're taking people through. But then the second part can often be, well, wait, if we take action in a lot of different areas of the system, we can do it and it's still possible. We could actually get to two degrees and I would love that. So you're gonna be leading people through this arc. Be a playwright who's paying attention to the emotional uh, and just heart journey people are going through in this experience. The fourth is fellow traveler. At times you may need to take off your hat as a coach or facilitator and just be another empathetic human being alive in the era of climate crisis and equity crisis, who like them is just trying to do all they can with the humility and empathy that comes with it. So sometimes you may need to just be transparent, authentic, and speak from the heart about what this feels like to you to be doing what we're all trying to do together. Use that when you need to. Other roles that you may play, but mostly want to minimize. You're not there to give them En-ROADS, to give them software, to explain about models in particular. Software and models and this game or the workshop, they're all a means to another end. You want to be talking about what we're all going to do about climate and climate-related equity. Don't get pulled into the tech stuff too much. It's a means, not an end. The other is don't be an advocate if you can. Now, mind you, the world needs advocates. Your job is to cultivate people in the game or the workshop finding their voice as an advocate. And they don't often get a chance. This is their chance to practice. So if you find yourself personally disagreeing with someone in the session, don't counter them right away. Create the space for someone to practice and find their voice in disagreeing with someone in the room if you think that's what's appropriate. Don't get into arguments as a facilitator. That's not your role. If you do have to go there, you go back to this and you be a fellow traveler and speak from the heart, 
not in your role as a facilitator, but just as another person. See if you can avoid being an advocate. In the same way, don't get in fights about the model or about climate science. Uh, you'll, we teach you a bit about how to build confidence and credibility in En-ROADS in this uh, workshop and game, but try not to spend too much time just defending it. Uh, see what you can do there. Four more roles. Have fun. Lighten up. Partly, it's fun to have fun, so just do it. The other is that you're creating a virtual world, a kind of playful what-if world in this simulator. And you need to have a certain amount of levity for people to join you there, to make experiments and see what if, what if, what if. That requires some levity. So be light, grave about the importance of addressing climate inequity, but light about how you're getting there. Detective. Be a curious, focused detective about people's mental models. Why do they think what they think? If you can understand better where people are coming from, you're going to communicate better. So get very curious about why people would think that afforestation has a result that it does, or that carbon removal of this type, or coal or oil or gas. What do people think about the climate system and equity? Get curious about that. It will help you be a much better facilitator. Salesperson. We would love it if people used En-ROADS. To use En-ROADS, they need to get their hands on the model. So like a good car salesperson, who knows? you got to get the person test driving the car before they drive the car. Give them En-ROADS. Send it to them in the workshop if it's online. Set up computers in the room for them to go play with it halfway through the session or through the game. People get their hands on it, get curious about it, and that's going to have them be even more effective participants in the workshop or in the game, but also in climate leadership. Also, let's just admit it, this is a bit of a show. Give them a good show. Make it fun, make it interesting with highs and lows. Be a performer if that's part of what you have in your bag of tricks. Now, I've just laid out a lot of different things to do. Not everybody's going to do them. You can have multiple people playing multiple roles. And you don't need to do all of these things in every game and every workshop. And when push comes to shove and you think, who do I need to be right now? I'm kind of lost. What am I really supposed to be doing? What you're supposed to be doing is being a coach. You're helping people have an experience of looking at the highs and the lows of living in an era of the climate crisis, the equity crisis, helping them orient themselves to being all they can be to lead and make the future that they really want to have happen. Be a coach. All right, go get them.